Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. You're watching Market One Minute. Joining us is Shafin Diamond Tijani. He is the CEO of Victory Square Technologies. Welcome. Thanks for having me. You're quite welcome. What does Victory Square Technologies do? Victory Square is building the tech giants of the next century. Um, our companies are using artificial intelligence, blockchain, virtual and augmented reality to disrupt sectors such as fintech, gaming uh, and insurance. What makes Victory Square special? There are a number of things that make us uh, special. You hear investors say, I wish I could have invested in, you know, in Amazon or Google when they first started. Um, well, we're giving investors the opportunity to invest in the next tech giant. So I think that's the biggest thing is the opportunity. Our companies are companies focused on emerging technology and they're disruptors that are coming from all over the world. So we're bringing some of the best companies, building them in Canada. Our process I think would be the next step, which is ensuring that we get customers for those companies. A lot of people build technology, uh, but they're not building it for a specific client or customer. We make sure that we have large enterprise clients mm -hmm. that we're building uh, technology for or bringing and investing in companies that we can validate their technology within these large enterprises. And we've got a team that's got you know, over 25 years of experience. We've launched over 40 companies in over 21 countries you know, with market capitalizations over a billion dollars. So you've got you know, opportunity, uh, team, and customers. And when you have that trifecta, you know, it, it's a, definitely a recipe for success. Tell us about the uh, charitable component of the company. So, you know, I was very blessed uh, in that my family um, got refugee asylum in Canada in, in the 70s. And I was fortunate to be you know, brought up in, 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 a, in a country with uh, good government, you know, great health, health care uh, and good education, loving parents. At Victory Score, our way of paying that back is, is creating a program based around time, knowledge and money. Uh, to help vulnerable children and youth. Uh, specifically here in British Columbia, we work with organizations like Kids Safe and Athletics for Kids uh, to create after school programming and, you know, and covering the cost of, of kids to go and, and play sports. So philanthropy and charitable impact around vulnerable children and youth is something very important to uh, Victory Square and our entire team. To date, you know, I think we've donated around $88 million, over 10,000 volunteer hours to a number of local and global uh, organizations working with, with children. Can you talk about some of the upcoming milestones that investors should look for? So there are a couple of really big milestones. One is monetization. So there are companies that and products that we've built um, over the last 36 months that are ready to mature. Uh, and those companies will be spun out of Victory Square uh, at valuations significantly higher than what our cost base was and that'll unlock value for VST and, and VST shareholders. That's one that we're, we're, we're really you know, looking forward to in the next six months. Um, revenue growth. So uh, we're going into the fourth year of triple digit revenue growth for, for Victory Square. So again, that validates our business model um, as we've been consistently growing. I would say the third uh, catalyst is uh, new product releases. So there are new uh, products that we kind of brought in our portfolio in 2018 that uh, we see over the next 12 months starting to grow and scale. So we're excited about those new products kind of hitting market. Why is Canada such a great place to build a tech company? Uh, I mean, it's, it's an amazing place. It's, you know, in my mind, it's the greatest country on earth. Yeah, um, I agree. But, you know, tech is borderless. Uh, and so uh, normally technology companies from around the world would go to the U.S. Uh, and build their tech. Because of immigration uncertainty, Canada's opened their, their, their arms to these tech companies through programs called the Startup Visa, which, which makes it easy for tech companies to come here. Tremendous support from the government, great talent, mm -hmm. uh, and again, tech is borderless, so you can build the technology here in Canada and export it and, and drive revenues all over the world. So. And last question, why should investors own shares in Victory Square? You know, Warren Buffett always says that it's not enough to just invest in a good company, but you want to make sure the entry point is, is, is good. Uh, Victory Square is undervalued at this moment, so I think it's a great buy for for investors uh, and for current shareholders to, you know, to continue to hold their investment. Again, revenue growth. So when you look at fundamentals of a business, revenue growth is there. Mm -hmm. uh, Short-term catalysts. You know, this is a year that we see monetization happening over the next couple of quarters. And again, management is vested. You know, I'm the largest shareholder. I've continued to accumulate my position, as have some of our other management team. Um, and we continue to believe in the long-term prospects of the business. So. You know, anytime you can invest at the right time where the entry point is good, where there's, you know, catalysts upcoming and management is vested, mm -hmm. I think, again, those are uh, a recipe for, for a good investment. Shafin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.